So whether the Democratic Alliance, the official opposition, is in search of a new leader, the names of Alan Windy and John Steenhuisen are being bandied about as possible replacements for Musi Maimani. But can a white leader grow the party that has aspirations of governing the country? For more on this, Professor Antoni van uh, from the Witz School of Governance is in our Cape Town studio. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for joining us. Let's get straight to that particular question. Uh, in your mind, who do you think will and can lead this party forward? Sure. <clears throat> Good morning. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, it's clear to me that uh, the DA needs an interim leadership structure to prepare better for the real election that will happen in April next year. And so, you know, from this perspective, it doesn't really matter who gets the top two jobs uh, because it will be a holding position, an interim position, to make sure that the real issues that the DA struggle with so deeply can be sorted out in the coming months. So whether John Steenhuisen or Alan Windy or one of the other contenders gets the job is, in my view, is less important than laying the foundation for a deeper recovery that is very necessary for the DA. Okay, so besides the leadership issue, has uh, all this turmoil within the DA, does this now mean that uh, South Africa does not have a, a, viable and, you know, a viable opposition party at the present moment? Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is very awkward. Uh, an awkward moment for the DA, but also for the country, because as you know, as we enter into the new year, uh, our parliament opens, the president gives a state of the nation address, ministers make their budget speeches. Uh, it's a key moment in, on the political uh, calendar for the year ahead. And that is where you want your opposition parties and the official, of, official opposition in particular to lead on setting agenda points. And they don't have a leader that is capable of doing so with the full support of all the different factions in the DA. And I predict what will happen in February when Parliament opens is the, 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 the ruling party and the EFF will play games with the DA. They will humiliate them and embarrass them in the hope that they will do even worse than they are doing at the moment. Because after all, this is a game of politics. Uh, every vote counts, and they want to steal away the position that the DA has as the official opposition. So tough times ahead. So b besides what may happen in Parliament as well, the ANC here says to gain, especially when it comes to Johannesburg, uh, maybe pick up that metro that uh, they lost to the DA. No, you're right. I mean, uh, we're also entering uh, 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 turbulent waters, uh, stormy, stormy terrain, because uh, the situation with the DA and the resignation of Herman Mashaba means that we are now full steam into this politics of coalition formation, alliance building. And uh, Herman, I think, was a very capable mayor of Johannesburg. I am unsure who uh, of a capable leader that can replace him. I don't quite see that. So the contestation in the city of Johannesburg, which is a very significant metro, will now see the, the ANC and the DA and the EFF plotting to find partners uh, opportunistically to take control of the uh, budget of Johannesburg. This is a big issue that I think will uh, open the door for other alliances and coalition formation elsewhere in other metros elsewhere in the country, which means the pressure is really on the DA now to very quickly recover what they are busy losing, which is the confidence of the voters and credibility. If they don't do that fast, and if they use Helen Ziller as the voice of the DA, then I predict that other political parties will gain at the DA's loss. Um, the, the EFF uh, is going uh, to its elective conference come December's ward, and what the one thing has shown, what this, uh, what's been going on in the DA has shown us is that internal problems are not only limited to the ANC. What are we expecting uh, from the EFF uh, <laughs> in, come this December? Change of leadership, do you think? Yeah, there's speculation. I, I, I think it's premature. It's too early. Uh, it is true what you say, that uh, political parties, including the ruling party, the ruling alliance, have deep-seated internal uh, divisions. <clears throat> and the EFF sucks. I mean, the, the albatross 
uh, around the neck of the EFF is the unfinished business of citizens understanding what happened to that VBS bank and the loans and the money that was moved around and seemingly EFF leaders benefiting unduly from that process. That needs to be clarified as soon as possible because the EFF I think is poised if they can get this thing right to take uh, voters away from the DA to themselves. <clears throat> it is quite clear to me that um, there's a loss of confidence amongst our black uh, South African citizens in the ability of the DA to provide space for all races and uh, and you can work out you know who's going to benefit from this uh, white voters will split off even more to the uh, Freedom Front Plus and black voters will split off to either the ANC under the leadership of Cyril Ramaphosa uh, or the EFF so the DA when you consider all of these uh, dynamics in the next six months uh, needs to get its house in order, otherwise it, it stands a chance of disappearing as we know it. Okay, interesting stuff. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Professor Antoni van Niekerk.